Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and you're watching Lawn Care Life. You know, one of the things lawn care business owners like to do is when they pull up at the gas station filling up and somebody else pulls up with their lawn care equipment, we oftentimes check out the other person's equipment. Maybe we're comparing ourselves with them or maybe we just are interested to see what other people are using. Well, I like to show people different lawn care setups on my channel and today one of my friends allowed me to show off his setup so let's check out the setup he's using for his lawn care business all right people often ask me about equipment starting a lawn business and you know a lot of it depends on your budget and what you're starting with and that sort of thing but there's all kind of options and a lot of it depends on what kind of properties you're going after you know if i was going to target garden homes then you know, a 60 inch zero turn mower is probably not the smartest. You can get by with push mowers or maybe a, a small walk behind or something like that. But if you know that you're you know, going after larger properties, then a 60 inch might be the, the best option for you. If you're working on hilly properties, maybe you need to look at walk behinds. So that, that's one thing is just understanding what type of properties you're dealing with, you know, whether it's hilly, flat, big small th those things make a difference so let's talk about this setup here all right we got a five by ten single axle open trailer okay that's a very good size in my opinion you're starting off this uh, particular uh, business has been mowing grass for for two years now so you know this is a great setup for a small lawn business has one or two people obviously you can see you can fit a full size zero turn mower on there have room for push mowers in the front of the trailer. So we got a five by 10 trailer, and let's start with the primary mower here. So this is a Gravely Pro Turn 52 commercial grade mower. This is one of Gravely's kind of popular models, gonna be comparable with like a Xmark Laser Z or something like that. You know, it's it's a full-fledged commercial mower. As a, you know, Gravely would have kind of a, a low-end commercial one, but this is sort of their standard grade commercial mower in my understanding 52 inch mower that personally I, to me 52 inch is a great size i i like that size i mean 48 is fine too uh, and a 60 is fine if you've got big flat properties but i like the 52 i find it to be versatile yeah maybe you can't get into all the backyards but that's what you have other options for you have a, a walk behind or push mowers or you just don't take on properties that have small gates to their backyard these mowers like this probably run you somewhere around eight thousand dollars new i'm guessing but the mower's in great shape and obviously this is the primary mower let me check out let's see what kind of engine he's got so this is the kawasaki uh, fs 691 v 23 horsepower to me that was plenty of horsepower you know i remember seeing sometimes you'd see a, a 52 inch deck and it would have a 19 horsepower engine and i didn't think that was enough sometimes it'd be bogging down uh, but 23 on a 52 is it seems to be about right in my opinion. Let's see if we can see it here But it's hard hard to see a little bit, but he's got the the mulching kit And I don't know if he's got the full mulching kit or just this outside baffle on here uh, and, and yet that's one option is to do that the other option is Obviously you can just side discharge you want to do that But I kind of like the shoot blockers that you can flip them up to side discharge or close them to keep the clippings inside now obviously a full mulching kits gonna mulch better than a than a shoot blocker but the uh, shoot blocker gives you some versatility to leave it open if you're in a wide open space where this the only problem with the mulch kit in my opinion sometimes if the grass is really thick and wet it can cause the mower to bog down uh, it does dull your blades a little faster but you know anyway i personally i like the shoot blocker um, but this one has got a mulch kit on it. Let's see if we can read the hour meter upside down, 256 hours. So this mower should have a lot of life in it. It looks like it got a nice comfortable seat, um, which is great. Now, see here, he's got two push mowers, got a, a Honda commercial push mower and a Toro commercial push mower. So this is a Honda HRC 216 and then the the toro push mower i notice they're reminding you on the gas cap over there don't use e15 gasoline probably be a good tip not to use any ethanol uh, in your small engines at least so for a strategy on how to be efficient and effective with your lawn business you've got a big mulching mower here is obviously your primary mower and then you can rely on the push mowers for hillsides or small backyards or things like that. So that's one strategy. Like I said, the other strategy, you could you could get a walk behind, 
Um, but on, with a walk behind, you're probably going to need a, a bigger trailer to be able to fit both those on there. Or you could, you know, there's all kind of combinations you can have. I mean, uh, you can have two standard mowers, you know, a 52-inch standard and a 36-inch standard. Or, a, you know, a 52-inch standard with a 36-inch walk behind or a 60-inch with a 36 inch you know secondary motor so there's a lot of options a lot of ways you can go but this particular setup just to show you the different ways you can go about it, is a 52 with two push mowers and then let's check out the handheld equipment this particular setup we've got two echoes and a husqvarna so this is the husqvarna let's see what model this is Husqvarna 324L. So this is actually, I believe, that the four-stroke Husqvarna uh, trimmer. And then we've got a, let's see, Echo SRM 225 and an Echo SRM 2, Echo SRM 2620T. So two Echoes and a Husqvarna, two push mowers, your primary zero turn riding mower, and then for the blower, let's see what we got. Got the Husqvarna 350BT. So this is a good, in my opinion, if you're doing residential properties, you know, this is a good mid-sized blower. Um, you know, I know a lot of guys like the big ones and if you're doing leaf cleanups or big properties, the really big ones, steel supposedly coming out with a, a new, even bigger one, the Red Max 8500. Those are, you know, the big dogs. Echo's got a huge one. Uh, to me, this is sufficient for just normal everyday residential, small commercial mowing. Oh, one last thing here. We've got an Echo FC 91 Edger. For that setup so it looks like he didn't carry his edger with him today but an edger you know obviously you can edge with the edger or with string trimmer but this edger looks like it's in good shape and doesn't have a lot of use on it and one last thing we'll check out the trimmer line here this is from outdoor power equipment 0.95 going with the the braided line i like the braided line in some ways i mean i feel like it feel like it is a little quieter now does it cut better i don't know uh, i'd have to like to test out some different lines and see which one really uh, works better so here it is here's this setup tell me what your thoughts are what do you like about the setup don't like about the setup and let me hear if you want to share in, in the comments below about your setup what combination of mowers do you use what size is your primary mower do you have a secondary mower obviously if you got a big crew you probably got multiple mowers but i'm more talking about for the small timers you got one truck a trailer how what's your setup look like and compared with this so it's a great setup for a small operation to be out there and, and obviously can make a lot of money with that gravely mower at the push mowers when you need them or if you just like exercise in the description below i'm going to have a couple of links for you there will be a link to some other videos i've done on setup so if you want to see what some other options are for lawn equipment setups i'll i'll link to those below also want to remind you again about the 2018 lawn care life conference i'll put a link below to that it we're really excited to have Alan Hain, the lawn care nut, Brian Shane from Top Notch Lawn Care, Brian Fullerton from Brian's Lawn Maintenance, a slew of other sponsors and speakers participating. This is shaping up to be a great event, so check out that, lawncarelife.com for more information on that. I'll put a link in the description. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys later.